Hey guys, GP Mushrooms. Today I want to show you how to fruit your mushroom block. Now I want you to notice that this block is fully colonized. Oh, and this is a 10 pound block. This isn't the 5 pound blocks that I offer. Uh, eventually I like to be able to offer these 10 pound mushroom logs because uh, the growth you're going to get off this, the, the mushrooms you're going to get off this will weigh one and a quarter pounds of mushrooms. And that's how much you're going to get, you know, uh, mushroom wise. Uh, I want you to notice, you know, it's fully colonized. But when you get to the bottom, it's not fully colonized. But that's perfectly okay. You know, that happens. Sometimes that happens, you know, uh, maybe a lack of moisture, maybe too much moisture. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a lack of moisture, but that's perfectly fine. This is the bottom side anyways. And, that, you know, it happens. Normally, most of the time that'll happen. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this mushroom block in a box. All right, guys, this is take 20. <laughs> All right, now that I got my block inside my box, what you're going to do is directly spray your block. I mean, just spray the heck out of it. What you want is the water to hit the holes and get into the holes. And you're going to direct spray your block for the next three days. That's That works for me every time. And then after that, make sure you spray the, the wall, the inside the wall of your box. Okay, you want to keep the humidity... Now, up in your box, because when your mushrooms st first start to grow, it's, only, it's what's called the primordial stage. And then from primordial stage, it's going to go into the pinning stage. But during that time, it's sensitive to drying out. You don't want it to let it dry out, and you really don't want to direct spray it, because it's going to drown the mushrooms. They need oxygen. They need to breathe. Uh, keep your humidity up as much as possible. I mean, even if you have to, sometimes I'll grab a bottle of water. I'll just pour a little water in the bottom of the box, you know, just to keep that humidity up because it's constantly evaporating. Uh, the best part about the box is you got walls. Now that's going to keep breezes from hitting, and the slightest breeze, I'm telling you, the very slightest breeze, constantly pounding away on your your mushrooms in the primordial stage, it's going to dry them out, and you're not they're going not they're not going to grow, and then you're going to have to wait for the second flush uh, before you, you get another chance to do that right. Uh, make sure also stay, it gets indirect sunlight. Indirect sunlight is another uh, part of the process of uh, you know getting your mushrooms to fruit. You know when you spray it with water, it's basically saying, "Hey, we hit the surface. We need to grow, and we need to spread our seed." Uh, also, indirect sunlight is what's going to give your mushrooms its color. Being that this is Princess Pearl, it, it kind of starts off dark at first, but then it grows and it turns to a nice white. Uh, it's a nice tender mushroom. This is a 10 pound block and uh, it's going to produce about one and a quarter pounds of mushrooms. Uh, eventually I will have this on my Amazon store. Uh, it's a great grow. It really is. It's beautiful. You know, it's considered a mushroom log. You know, I always call it a 10 pound block, but it's considered a 10 pound mushroom log, being that it's growing in this uh, kind of plastic. Uh, if it doesn't get enough air, just the caps, the stems will start getting really, really long. If it starts getting really long and stemmy, that means it's not getting enough oxygen. Never put a lid on top of your box, okay? Uh, this has a tendency, it, it produces a lot of CO2, and it needs uh, fresh air to make nice, full, big caps. Princess Pearl can be a little tricky on how it grows. Uh, it's a it's nice, tender mushroom through and through, you know, stem, base, and all. Uh, and sometimes it will get a little stemmy, but that's okay. Princess Pearl, you can let that get away with that. Uh, like the Blue Oyster, you want big caps. The Blue Oyster has an, a tough stem. So, you know, the bigger the caps, the better. You know, uh, when you do prepare your mushrooms, cut your stems really thin. You know, and then you can go ahead and cut big chunks of your, your mushroom caps. Uh, I guess that's already tender. But whenever you cut the stems, cut real thin slices on your stem. And then you cook them up, and then you won't notice it. It's delicious. Uh, that's okay. Not enough oxygen causes stemminess. Not enough indirect sunlight. It's not going to get your your blue oyster won't get its color if it doesn't get enough uh, indirect sunlight, as well as your pink. And of course, keep your humidity up. It's always three things you have to worry about when you're growing mushrooms: light, humidity, and uh, temperature. Like I feel like there's four things. <laughs> But three things, those are the three most important things. All right, guys, uh, 
Oh, and after you know you harvest your first flush of mushrooms, give it about two weeks to rest. Don't bother spraying your block. Don't do anything with it. Uh, of course, make sure it stays in a nice, you know, uh, nice temperature. Don't just throw it outside. Uh, with after two weeks, go ahead and proceed to directly mist your block again. You know, same procedure for three days. Directly mist it, and then start misting off to the side. Keep it nice and damp inside your box to keep that humidity up. Um, and then it's going to give you a second flush of mushrooms eh, within about a month, month and a half. And then it's going to do a third flush and a fourth flush and a fifth flush. These will produce for a good while. As long as you see mycelium, you'll get mushrooms. But the further, when you get your first flush, it's big. Second flush is just as big. But the third flush is going to get smaller and smaller. I guess it's, you know, it's starting to run out of food. And then uh, if you want, <coughs> you know, I do offer substrate. And what you can do, it's, you know, uh, I offer four bags for like $27.99. It's a, a great deal. It really is. It's the same process. Then you can take some uh, some of the inside of this uh, substrate, and you can transfer it to that that substrate to grow more blocks. You know, it's, uh, this is a great process. It really is. And after you're done with this block, throw it in your garden. Chop it up, put it in your soil. It's great for the plants. Well, all right, guys. That should do it. Uh, contact me always contact me I'm here to help I want you guys to be successful growers the world's crazy these days mushroom these mushrooms here they have the same proteins as meat this is a great survival food you can dehydrate it you can store it for a long term for years and years um, okay I, I can rattle on forever you guys I really can uh, contact me if you have any questions you will find my email in the description down below all right much on guys All right, this is the results you should get after you put your block into your box to fruit. Uh, this is my blue oyster. As you can see, the color faded away. That's what happens at first. It starts off with a strong color of blue. And as it gets bigger, it starts to fade and it fades away. Uh, as you can see, these two flushes didn't grow big. But all the energy that, that didn't go into these two mushrooms went to this flush of mushrooms here. It's all about how big your substrate is and how much energy is going to be in that substrate. When you grow, uh, use a five pound block to grow mushrooms, uh, you're going to get three quarter pounds of mushrooms, no matter what. I'm going to harvest this, I'm going to harvest this and this, I'm going to weigh it all up. It's going to be three quarter pounds of mushrooms. Now let's say uh, you did a 10 pound block, you know, like my the log I showed you uh, in my previous, uh, well before this, uh, that's going to produce one and a quarter pounds of mushrooms. Always. You're always going to get the same amount of mushrooms every time. Five pounds, three quarter pounds of mushrooms, ten pound block, one and a quarter pounds of mushrooms. And there's moments when you get, you know, a freakish growth of mushrooms and this grows abnormally huge. You know, those are rare treats. But this is a very nice flush of mushrooms. This is huge. This is great. You want big caps. You, know, you don't want long. You don't want long stems. You want big caps when you're growing your mushrooms, because the caps are the softest part. But this is a great technique for fruiting your mushrooms. Just use a cardboard box, and uh, no direct air. As as always, no direct air. Just that'll just dry up everything. But this was. These are definitely terrific results. All right, you guys. Uh, mush on.